Hello everybody, Walters954 here. In this video, I am going to be going over this parent roll-up formula. Today in the Salesforce Exchange Discord, a few people were talking about this formula and how it's useful on reports. So what this does is pull down the top level or highest account in the hierarchy that is available. Say that your account hierarchy is three high on the child account it will show the highest one as the parent and on the middle one it'll show the parent account as well so what i'm going to do is put this formula in go over some of the downfalls and some of the other discussion that we were having in here i kind of went a little um i won't say overboard but i gave some scenarios on how that formula may not work in certain situations and what you would do to beat that. So make sure to subscribe. I will be making follow-up videos on showing us how to get around some of these problems. That will involve writing code and using process builders and flows in some cases. So we'll walk through all of the different automation processes that we can use to kind of overcome this problem. This formula is really interesting because it showcases a lot of different limitations that Salesforce imposes on us. One of the really key things that we'll show once I get this inside of the formula field is the character limit. And another one is uh, some of the update value problems that if we move this into process builder, which you'll see in the next couple videos, uh, some of the issues there. Let's go ahead and go on to the account record and make a new field. If you want your Salesforce org to be in dark mode, a couple of people have been asking me about this, check out the uh, suggested video that'll be popping up right now, which will go over how to enable dark mode for Salesforce. All right, so I'm gonna create a formula field. I'm gonna call it ultimate parent and I'll use text so I'm gonna paste this in here for right now it's okay if we don't fully understand this I will break it down one by one uh, but I just want to showcase what this is doing right now um, once we paste it in here you can also find a link to this formula in the description down below All right, so let's go to United Productions. And what this formula is currently doing, since United Production doesn't have a parent, it displays back the current account. Let's add in a parent account. We can't add itself. And we can see here that the ultimate parent has been changed to United Oil and Gas. If we go to United Oil and Gas and add a parent to them, uh, let's see if we have any tests. I know we have more records on here. Let's start putting in tests uh, so that we can start to see some of the different levels, parent level one. Let me save this. So now we can see that the ultimate parent for United Oil and Gas is parent level one. But if we actually go back out to United uh, Productions, or is that producers? I didn't. Productions, there we go. We can see that the ultimate parent is now uh, parent level one. And we can keep going through the relationships, adding parents in here. So let's do another one. I'm, I'm typing out the, the, the name for it, but I need to actually add a parent. Parent level two. And we'll keep going through this, uh, adding parent levels. If we, if we look back onto, let's go to parent level one. So now if we go back to United Oil and Gas Company, we're seeing that its current parent is parent level one, but its ultimate parent is parent level two. Let's go back one more step. The United uh, Productions has the ultimate parent being parent level two. So this will continue to roll up. Let's go to our ultimate parent field here. 
this will continue to roll up seven layers. So let's start at the top here and kind of read through this. So what this is saying is that we are looking at the parent, which is just the parent relationship. We're going up that to the next parent. So that's like parent level one to level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, and level seven. And we're saying if parent level seven has an ID, then display, and it's gonna be all the way at the end here, um, just by the way this is built, but it says to display that specific parent name. And let's delete, let's delete all of these so that we can see uh, how this works. So let's, let's kind of build this from scratch. We're gonna start here with our simple if statement. Is blank. And we're gonna to go to the first letter, parent, parent. We're gonna need seven of these. Now parent level three. Uh, or no, I think that one's number four. Parent number five, parent number six, parent number seven. If that one, if the, so if it is blank, nothing is there we're gonna return the name if it is if the current name of the current uh, account that we're on. If it is not blank, then let's return all this name of the seventh parent. And let's a quick save that. We're going to refresh this. This might stay in here until we do a clean refresh. Okay, there it goes. So right now we are not seeing anything in there because there is no, or well, we're seeing the United United Productions in there because there is no seventh level parent. Um, and then we can do this in the reverse as well. So let's say that all we're checking for is the first parent ID. And we'll, we'll start building it up from there and see, see how far we can go with this one. I'm hoping that's saved. There you go, it did save. So this one is now showing the first level parent. And it basically, this, this one's working as just this lookup. There we go. Pulling it in here. This one doesn't look right. Let's make sure to update this. Just add another number in here. There we go. So now this is showing, you know, uh, the the next level parent. So let's let's go all the way down. Actually, let's let's add all of our levels in here. We'll go up to level seven or as many levels. Yeah, we'll go up to level eight. Add a new account in here. I might speed through this. But what I'm doing is adding at least seven level of parents. And this would be your normal hierarchy that you have going on here. So maybe you do have um, some sort of really large hierarchy um, that you're working with on your internal side of things. Okay, now that we have all of our accounts in here, Let's go back to United Oil Productions. And right now, all we are seeing is the um, one singular parent account. So let's start doing some more checking to verify that there may be, that, to, to verify that there, if there's another parent account in there. I'm gonna kind of do it in the silly way that, um, they did it in the Discord. Let's see if I can I can make it in that same uh, pyramid type thing. But what we want to do first is we're gonna say if let's move this over to is blank the parent's parent so uh, the grandparent if that is blank 
we're going to check down into the regular parents parents but since we added one on to, to check the grandchild we also need to add if it is true at the end here so we're gonna say parent parent dot name and close the parens at the end of there should be everything we need that's gonna save Let's refresh our page we could probably just do a quick update so now we're at parent level one so what's this this is doing is it's looking through the parent to the next parent let's see if it pops up on the quick uh, it does not but it's looking to the next parent to get to parent level one same thing we can continue to add in another section in here so if is blank the parent and then the grandparent and then the great grandparent if that is blank gonna open uh, or sorry a, a comma there so if that is blank we want to check the grandparent I think I can do comments in here right so great grandparent A little space in here too and this is just a grandparent is that how you spell grandparent am i spelling it it's grand grand i keep saying grand grandparent and then this is the parent all right put some uh put some comments in there and then the same thing applies down here so uh this is just your fallback this is your current uh account parent, grandparent, and we are about to add in parent, 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 great grandparent name. Save that. And we should be looking at, see, it doesn't like my, it needs a comma here. I was going to say it doesn't like the, what is it? What is it? What is it? And it needs a close parens here. Okay. I think that's it, right? I want to make sure it's not the comments. I'm going to assume that's saved. And then let's just do a blank refresh really quickly. And we can see that, hey, it's looking at parent level two. So United Oil to parent level one to the grandparent, the great grandparent, which is parent level two. I probably renamed these to be great and great, great and all that stuff. But that's basically how this formula works. So it's operating by checking if there's a value. If there isn't a value, it will fall back into the next one until it reaches its, um, its base case, which is the name or the default one. We could, we can make this blank if we wanted, but if none of the relationships exist, then we fall back all the way to the end. So that is how this works. Let's go ahead and paste back in the formula that we have going on from the Salesforce Exchange Discord. And let's try to break this because there are some limitations. Uh, some of you might have guessed some of it already. We're going to add in another level. So this is level eight. And um, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get to a limit somewhere. There are limits in the formulas that we can reach. Let's refresh this to see how, how deep we're getting in the hierarchy. So we're actually at number seven, and I think that's all of them that we created. But uh, let's keep going in here. And we need to add in parent and a parent in here. From my recollection, I feel like this goes up to 11 or 15. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, let's let's keep on chugging here until it doesn't save. So this is going to fall back to seven because that's all we have created in here. So this is very good for those orgs that use 
uh, have really deep hierarchies. I doubt that a lot of you will get this far in the hierarchies, but um, there's something else that'll come into play. I may speed through this section until we get to the error. Some of you may have already guessed what it is. All right, so we have finally hit our first error, which is the object's reference limit. That means that we can't go any further than 15 deep on a, uh, a relationship through a formula field. That's what's coming up here. So basically we have hit the limit. I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is the 16th one. So we can't go more than 15 is the limit that we're hitting on here. So I'll take away this final piece and take away this one. So this is the maximum depth that you can reach is 15 layers deep or up inside of a hierarchy using a formula field. So I kind of hope that you'll never really need it to be this far. I think eight is a really good number to look through in a hierarchy, but who knows, there are some organizations that might have a 15 depth wide or long uh, hierarchy in their accounts or in other objects. Another error you might hit if you use this formula in conjunction with another one is the compile size limit or even the, I don't think we'll hit the character limit with this one um, since we're maxed out at 15, but you can also hit the character limit. Um, let's say like if this was a really long field name or if this was a really long field name, you could uh, hit it. This formula is pretty safe to use in, I would say mid-size orgs. If you're trying to get a little bit more complex, we will be moving on to doing this in a process builder uh, in our next video. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that one. I think that kind of rounds it out. This formula is very useful in reporting. Now you can always group by the top level parent. So you can have some reports that will be grouped based on the overall customer which is very helpful. You can go up those hierarchies or you can run some sort of automation on, let's say like the parent or putting in formulas based on the parent name or parent value. This doesn't have to be the name, but this is just a good example to show you that it's looking up the hierarchy. So maybe you always wanted to see the annual revenue of the grandparent. That would be pretty easy just switching that field in there. Let me know if this video was helpful in the comments down below. And if you've used this formula before, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I will be doing a little mini series on this moving from process builder to flow and to apex a couple different versions of apex actually on how to basically create this formula and very similar formulas or I'll say formula, but it's really just create this field and get that value from it, which is looking up all the way to the parent, uh, getting that value from it. So, be sure to stay tuned for those. And remember, I believe in you.